Hi everybody, I'm Zena and welcome to Zena's Kitchen. Today, our favorite, onions. I know you guys sometimes get scared of onions, but I am here to tell you that you can do it. Onions are not difficult to cut once you know how. Now, often you're going to use a yellow onion like this when you're cooking meat or chicken, uh, soups. So what I want to show you and explain to you today is that it's very important when you start slicing an onion, if you're not going to use the blender after it's cooked, you want to make sure that it's not cut in big chunks so you don't have big pieces of onion in your mouth when you're cooking, when, you're, when your meal is ready. All right? So first we're going to do is remove the hat, <laughs> the hat of the onion. Let's just call it a hat because it looks like a hat. All right? And then right in the middle here, there you go. Now what happens here is that we have the perfect opening to just peel it. There we go. Just like that. I'm keeping a little bit of the bottom because it's going to help it stay together and you're going to see why in a second that's important. All right. So just take the first skin of the onion that, there we go. If it's too soft, you just peel that off and you just keep only the good ones, okay? Here, let's say I'm making soup today and I'm going to keep all my vegetables whole. It's very important that the first slicing that I'm doing, I use a small knife. You can use a big one too. I like to use a small one in this case because it's bigger than my vegetable. If I was using a bigger vegetable, I would use a bigger knife. All right, here I feel like I have a good control. I use the tip of my knife first and I slide in. I don't go all the way to the end, okay? I make sure that I don't pass that piece. This piece here is gonna keep the whole onion together so it allows you to cut it. Then, when you're more than halfway through, sometimes it wants to open up, so just hold it with your fingers this way on both sides, all right? And when you keep it tight, it makes it easier for the knife to slide right in. Because I want to cut it small, my first slicing is made very close together. All right? It makes it easier when I'm going to cut it the other way to get small pieces if my first slicing was close together, as opposed to keeping this large and then trying to get it small after. So here you're helping yourself do a quicker job. Once I went from beginning to end without going over the tip, I'm going to slice this way. Now notice how I stepped back from the counter a little bit. Now my hand can move and my body is not in the way. All right, so I step back and I give my first slice from beginning to end, but not till the far back. And then again this way. And if I was a bigger onion, I would go three times. But here I have two, it's enough. All right. And then just very close together. Look how small I can get my onion. Look at that. This would not be possible if my first slicing was, was large. There we go. So nobody complains about big chunks of onions. See that? Let me show you. So very, very small pieces of onion here. I'm crying just a little bit. You can also rinse your onion in very cold water after you cut it in two. You can even put it in ice for a couple of minutes. So when it's very cold, you cry less, apparently. So make it cold and your eye, you'll be less eye sensitive. So this is how I slice my onion, very small, when I want to make soup. Try and let me know how you like it. Please join me on Zena's Kitchen Facebook and follow me on Instagram at Zena's Dreams. You can now be the first ones to get all my videos as they're released when you subscribe to Zena's Cooking Channel on YouTube. Thanks for being with me. Bye.